Hey guys, welcome to the channel, Windows to Heaven Art. I'm Stephen Cooley, and for this video, I want to work on something with a little bit more detail to it. So, we're going to see what we can learn. It's going to be using oil paint, um, and the canvas size is a 16 by 20 inch canvas. That's kind of my standard. It's not too big to where it takes a lot of paint, but yet it's big enough to afford a little bit more detail. So we're going to be working with that and we're going to see what we can learn. I want this this painting to have, um, I don't want it to be photorealistic, something that you could uh, go out you know, and find in nature somewhere or anywhere on this earth. I want it to portray something. I want it to be inspired. I want it to have a different, I don't know, like if dream glow is the right word for it, but something that it doesn't look photorealistic, but it captures something more real than being realistic, if that makes sense. So we're going to jump right into it and see what we can learn. Here you see me with my finished sketch, and I did a lot of research on different castles, I compiled a lot of reference photos, and after a few sketches I got something I liked, and now I'm using graphite paper to put it onto the canvas. And right here you see my sketch and then I went on to GIMP and did some editing digitally and began to plan out my wishes for what the painting would look like and I first got the idea uh, driving to church one morning it was really foggy and I live nearby a lot of bluffs and hills so I could we were, we were driving to church under some of these bluffs and it was really foggy but I remember looking up and seeing just the tops of those bluffs kind of sticking out of the fog and you couldn't see anything around them it was just these bluffs sticking out kind of looked like they were floating in the sky so I thought that was really cool and I took a mental picture of that and I'm incorporating that into this painting you can see I'm filling in the sky around it and if you want to uh, see the write-up that I did for uh, what inspired this this painting in a little bit more detail you can go to my website and I should have uh, this particular painting up pretty soon after this video comes out so you can read that and get a little bit more info on the inspiration behind this painting
Alright, so we're finished with the painting, 
and I'm really pleased with how it ended up looking. You'll notice that it changed as I was painting it from my original plan, and that's fine so long as you like the way it turns out, which that happens to me a lot painting. It'll it'll end up looking different from what I first imagined. That's totally fine. So there's two main things that I learned doing this painting that are, I think, super helpful. I'm going to definitely remember them as I paint from here on. First thing is when I was painting in the castle, in the blocking stage of the painting, I would put a little bit of turpentine on my, on my brush that really thinned the oil paint down and allowed me a lot of detail, which I don't know why I didn't realize that before, but it really helped me paint the rooftops of the spires, you know, those towers to get the detail really, really nice. So if I wanted to get some good detail in that early stage of painting, just use a little bit of turpentine with your paint. Not too much, just, you know, until it runs really smoothly. And also the other thing that I learned that was really helpful is when I painted that first coat of paint and did my block in, I let it sit over the weekend and it dried pretty quickly because I had used, you know, that turpentine, which turpentine will cause your, your oil paint to dry quicker. So over the weekend it completely dried and then when I came back to it and started painting in the area where the sun was shining, I was able to paint sun rays in super easily just like I would if I was using acrylic paint that dries quicker. Um, because it had dried over the weekend. So sometimes, for certain effects, it's really helpful to let your painting completely dry and then paint those effects over the top of it because it's much easier to paint sun rays when your, your first layer of paint that you're painting over is completely dry. And that's why it's generally easier with acrylic, in my opinion, to paint those sun ray effects. So it's basically like using the dry brush technique. I would use that technique a lot painting with acrylic. I really like it, but you have to have your painting completely dry to do that. So that is a benefit of sitting for a few days and just letting your painting dry completely so that you can make those effects over the top of it. As always, if you like the music playing in the background of this video, be sure to check out my brother Aiden Cooley's channel, Aiden Cooley Music, and there will be a link that will pop up at the end of this video that you can click on, which will take you directly to his channel. Also, be sure to check out my website where I have a lot of these paintings that I do for sale in canvas prints. So be sure to check that out. There is a link that will take you to my website on the banner of my YouTube channel here. You just look up at the banner and it will be on the bottom right hand side of it. So you click on that, it will take you directly there. Otherwise, you can go to the about section of this channel and there will be a link on the bottom. Until next time, guys, God bless you.